thanks for coming out. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Uh, you know, we got to go down to FAU this week. It's the team we played here last year in our conference opener. Uh, very athletic group, uh, especially in the defensive front. Uh, got a lot of playmakers up front, uh, all conference guys in their D-line. Uh, the linebackers are playing extremely well. Um, Driscoll's a good quarterback, so they got him back. The running back's a really good player. Got a big offensive line. Um, it was a tough challenge for us last year. Uh, we played him here in the rain. Uh, we may be playing him in the rain again. I don't know. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a tough challenge. And one of the things about football that, that – that we just love is you don't get you don't get time to feel sorry for yourself. You know you got to get on to the next one and and move fast. And we got a good group of, of men playing for us and and uh, they've moved on. Had a good practice yesterday. We need to have a great practice today and tomorrow. Yeah, I don't. You know we just kind of watch it, but uh, we just go through our normal routine. And then uh, as we get closer toward the end of the week, we'll see if it affects our travel plans. It you know projections now. You, it doesn't look like it will, but. Who knows? I don't know that they really they know exactly where it's going to hit, but uh, could affect our Friday walkthrough depending on how much rain they get. We like to go down and then walk through at the stadium uh, if we can, but uh, if they get a bunch of rain, we might not be able to do that uh, in our conversations with them here early in the week. Well, we're going to evaluate everybody, you know, in practice, uh, you know, today and tomorrow, and and uh, we've changed the way we're going to practice. Uh, we've changed some some things we're going to do. Um, you know, schematically, things like that uh, on the field. Uh, and then we're going to evaluate the guys as they practice uh, today and tomorrow. We're going to practice a little bit different this week. So I think it'll give us a chance to, to play a little more fastball and evaluate some guys and, and make those decisions uh, as we get toward later in the week. Um, <clears throat> they're very athletic, like Coach said. Um, they're, they're really good pass rushers. Last year, we really struggled in pass protection with these guys. Well, um, they have a pretty good ball club. I mean, uh, they run a lot of run plays, not many passes, so to speak. So it's going to be a really tough challenge to stop the run this week. They have a lot of inside zone, split zone, like stuff like that. Um, they're a pretty good ball club, like Coach said. They have a lot of good quarterback, and um, their running back's really good too. So it's going to be a good challenge this week to see how they face up against us. Uh, it doesn't look like Jamal will be able to play this week. Uh, you know, we. We had him out last week. Then he came back practicing on Wednesday. We tried to get him in the game Saturday. His knee's just not allowing him to go, so we had to shut him down. Obviously, Trent's still out. TW's still out. Uh, uh, Eugene had a hand injury. Uh, we'll find out about him this afternoon. Hopefully, he's OK. We can put a cast on him. Uh, you know, but other than that, I think we're going we're gonna to be OK um, you know, from that standpoint. Yeah, he's just, I don't think he'll go this week. Um, I just don't think his strength is back yet. And uh, I'm hoping we can get him, you know, maybe get some plays out of him in the next couple of weeks. Uh, he's a guy we really miss. You know, he's an old guy that's made a lot of plays for us. So, um, but the young guys, we just, we got to step up and play. You know, KD's got to play good. And, and uh, you know, in our feast line, we'll try to get him involved, you know, in our secondary. And uh, really proud of Ben DeLuca. Got his first start last week. I thought he played pretty well in the game. Uh, you know, his first true freshman, you know, got his first start. I thought he played pretty good. Uh, made a couple of good plays for us back there. So we got to continue that process. And what we got to do is correct the mistakes on the back end and not turn guys loose. Because uh, our front, our, our defensive front's playing pretty good and they're playing extremely hard. Uh, our effort's been good across the board. Uh, we're just making entirely too many mistakes. And that's, you know, that obviously you got you got to look at yourself and, you know, say, hey, look, what are we doing to, you know, that, that's creating these mistakes. So. I've just challenged our team. You know, everybody's got to look internally and, you know, look at yourself and what are you doing and eliminate distractions and make sure we're focused on what we're doing and, and find a way to, to limit mistakes. And, you know, we can't drop punt, punt snaps and things like that, uh, put ourselves in a hole and, and uh, you know, shore up our red zone defense, you know, hone in on a red zone offense, things like that, that, you know, we have opportunity to score, we need to score. We don't need three, we need to get seven when we're down there. Uh, and the flip side of that is our defense, you know, just because they get the ball in the 15 doesn't mean we got to give them seven. So um, those are things we're working on. Well, really, we just got to um, focus in on our assignment. We call it Zoom focus in my room specifically. And it's just about just knowing your world, playing your world, just knowing, like, what you need to do in each play. And if we can just make sure that everybody does what they need to do, then we'll be a really successful defense. You know, the nice thing is, uh, you know, feel really good about Khalif right now. I mean, he's playing at a pretty high level. Um, and we got to continue to 
to give him the ball. He needs to touch the ball as many times as we can get it to him. Uh, you know, in our offensive line, they, they you know, it's you're hurt, you're limited a little bit because Jamal's out. I um, mean, you know, you 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 miss not not having him, and then Eugene, like he got banged up in the game, so you're you're kind of back to where you were last year. Uh, so, but hey, that's what it is, and and uh, you know, been proud of Cam Clark. He's come in and played well. Uh, filling in as a as a redshirt freshman, He's playing pretty good for us up front and doing some good things. But we got to continue to, uh, you know, you know, mold that group and come together as a group up front and be physical and try to knock people off the ball. And because that's that's who we want to be is we want to have the ability to run the ball and and uh, we've done that. You know, we've run it in spots pretty good and and you know we've had a hundred yard rusher I think three times. So. Um, you know, so it's uh, it's something we can do, and we need to continue to do. Well, absolutely, because they make you look good when you miss a block, or <laughs> say if you, you get beat, they're they're able to run through it. 